Woman disabled by flu shot. This is from Fox News in Washington, D.C. An Ashburn, Virginia woman is in the fight of her life after suffering a very rare side effect to the seasonal flu shot. I, mean, I admit it's side effects in the insert. A vast majority of doctors say flu shots are safe. In this case, the FDA says they found nothing wrong with a particular batch, but sometimes there are complications. That's apparently what happened to Desiree Jennings, and now her life will never be the same. A 26-year-old, Desiree Jennings was a pitcher of health. She's a Washington Redskins cheerleader mm. and an avid runner. Her life changed forever on August 23rd when she says she got a seasonal flu shot at a local grocery store, which has H1N1 in it. That's, that's right, not just the supposed H1N1 shot, but it all has it. I was training for a half marathon then, said Jennings, crying. It just all went so fast. You've got an autoimmune response, lady, most likely from the doctors we've interviewed. You need to not eat any MSG, any aspartame, because that can help continue to cause a cascade effect triggering what's happened in your body. Now, that may be the problem. Who knows? It's one of the most common. Ten days after receiving the shot, she came down with the flu. Ah. After that, her health spiraled downwards. She started passing out and had to be hospitalized twice. Mm, brain swelling. That's the number one side effect. Just hope the body doesn't start eating the brain stem. We went to an urgent care place, but they couldn't even let her get out of the truck because she was seizing in the back so bad. Ah, seizure. If you'd have been a toddler getting their round of shots, they would have CPS you, taken you and arrested your parents. See, that's they don't just hurt you and give you seizures. They then take your children. Unless you're blessed and the child has the convulsion within minutes of the shot, which does happen quite often, then the doctors cover it up because they don't want liability. But if you have it in the car or you put the baby down and say, good night, sweetie, I love you, and the baby says, good night, mommy, in the morning you're never going to talk to baby again. If baby doesn't die, baby's going to drool and going to be in diapers for the rest of her or his life. And when you take her to the doctor, the police officers are going to come. <laughs> Because this is how the globalists operate. Stupid morons with no medical training told you've shaken the baby. Because when they CAT scan the baby, there's going to be brain swelling and blood on the brain. Oh, but the cheerleader could talk. The 26-year-old cheerleader could talk. And so she couldn't be CPSed. So she was having seizures. They called an ambulance immediately, says her husband, Brendan Jennings. Doctors at Fairfax and John Hopkins diagnosed her with a rare neurological disorder called dystonia. See, she happened to run into true doctors who wouldn't just lie and cover it up for liability. They think it was caused by severe reaction to the flu shot. Desiree now has difficulty speaking and walking and even eating. Well, what's wrong? I mean, it's good for all the brain-eating children out there. What's wrong? During an interview with Fox 5, she had several seizures. The effects were irreversible. That's right. It hits your brain stem and hit, hit it hard. The symptoms will get worse if I use my voice or walk when the brain signals are misfiring, says Jennings. As we reported her health problems with the Food and Drug Administration, thinking there might have been something wrong with her vaccine. But the FDA told her no. No, that's just a side effect. And we wish you were a child because then we could kidnap you and get a bunch of medical funds out of you on the taxpayer's back. Ha, ha, ha. The plan's working perfectly. Eco-science strikes again. We saw killed you. Right off the top tonight, a shocking side effect to a routine vaccination. This started up with flu shot. You heard her right. A regular flu shot gone horribly wrong. Tonight, the warning this woman wants everyone to hear. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Bolton. And I'm Sean Yancey. A few weeks ago, Desiree Jennings was training for a half marathon. Tonight, she's struggling to walk, talk, even eat, left disabled by a very rare reaction to a seasonal flu shot. Claudia Coffee has more on this serious side effect. The vast majority of doctors say flu shots are safe. In this case, the FDA says they found nothing wrong with this particular batch, but sometimes there are complications. And that's apparently what happened to Desiree Jennings. And now her life will never be the same. Here, 26-year-old Desiree Jennings is the picture of health. She's a Redskins cheerleader ambassador and an avid runner. Her life changed forever on August the 23rd when she says she got a seasonal flu shot at a local grocery store. I was 
drink for a half marathon and it's all went so fast. Ten days after receiving the shot, she came down with the flu. After that, her health spiraled downwards. She started passing out and had to be hospitalized twice. Yeah, we went to an urgent care facility and they wouldn't even let her get out of uh, my, my truck because she was seizing in the back, so they called an ambulance immediately. Doctors at Fairfax Inova and Johns Hopkins diagnosed her with a rare neurological disorder called dystonia. They think it was caused by a severe reaction to the flu shot. She now has difficulty speaking, walking, even eating. During our interview, she had several seizures. The effects are irreversible. Symptoms will get worse if I use my voice or walk when the brain signals are misfiring. Desiree reported her health problems to the Food and Drug Administration, thinking there might have been something wrong with her vaccine. We also contacted the FDA, and we were told they found no problems with the particular lot of flu vaccines that Desiree received, and the agency has not received any other reports of adverse effects from this lot. Health experts stress that overall, extreme side effects are rare. The flu shot is very safe for the majority of the public, and as I said before, your heart really goes out to someone who experienced this sort of thing, thinking that they're doing something great for their wellness and their, um, you know, general health. But unfortunately, it does happen extremely rare cases. For Desiree, she just happened to be one of those rare cases. I don't want this happening to anyone else. Desiree and her husband plan to visit the Mayo Clinic in Arizona in November, hoping to get more answers about this disease and how they can live with it. Claudia Coffey, Fox 5 News. Again, health officials say this is very rare. Now you can learn more about dystonia, its causes, how rare it really is, and the symptoms by going to our website, myfoxdc.com. Just click on the health tab.